All right, everybody, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Today we are pruning my in-ground fig trees for cuttings. The trees are now finally dormant. The trees have basically been hit by a number of frosts, light frosts, hard frosts. We've seen temperatures now in the low 20s. And so the trees have had enough time in this colder weather to really be set into dormancy. If I make a cut as well on these branches, you'll be able to see that the sap flow has pretty much returned almost all the way down into the roots. Now, if you're interested in getting cuttings from me, I would highly recommend you guys check out the link in the description because we've already started cutting. And by the time this video is released, cuttings will be available for sale. And I'm only selling, I probably will do some sales on my website, figboss.com. But if you wanna buy the majority of them, they're gonna be on Figbit as they are every year. That's kind of just where I sell them. My friend Jan, uh, Danny Gentile, he's the owner and operator. He's the one that's responsible for creating that website. I've been selling on there for a number of years now. And so I'm selling cuttings basically like this, three to a set per variety. So it'll be three cuttings per variety, no more, no less. And then I'm putting them into these plastic bags as you see here and these are really long plastic bags this is at least i think 14 inches and so you could receive cuttings that are about 15 or 14 inches or so um, the cuttings themselves i'm trying to make all my cuts be at least a foot in length and so if there are a little bit longer i can even put them on a bit of an angle and so you're going to receive three cuttings basically at least 36 inches of growth Per variety i'm going to sell them all for buy it now prices by the way nothing will be for auction you can just buy it whenever you want right away make the research and choose the varieties that you want and so let's kind of begin this process i've already pruned two trees pruned my um let's see this is my negra de agde and then this is over here my thermalito I do have tags down there at the base. Very soon I'll put them in the bags, label them. But let's move on to the other trees um, because what we're trying to do here is we're trying to prune out some of the really thicker, healthier growth that grew a lot and then leave behind something a bit smaller that has its tips intact and the also the lateral buds intact. And then we're gonna bend this over. I've already been trying to do this with most of the trees throughout the season because we put a lot of air layers on so as an example on this tree over here this is a uh, black madeira and you can see i put a number of air layers on and the branches are already sort of bent towards the ground i got a huge pile of wood chips delivered you can see some wood chips over here this is a new bed that i created with an apple tree and a mulberry tree and then this whole thing's gonna get filled in and so when we bend these over we're covering them with that with those wood chips if i need to buy some straw I always can so what I'll do is I'm just gonna prune this here at the bottom just taking out all the suckers putting that to the side coming down in here if I need to use my saw I will there's another cut so we've got two suckers that grew all year we'll take the stakes out because what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill in this whole area, as I mentioned. We're gonna bend the branches over and we're gonna fill in this whole area with, uh, with mulch, with wood chips. I may decide to keep this. This is actually not a bad branch. What I think I'll do, because this tip here is preserved and looks good, I'm just gonna cut this off right here. And so now I have on this particular tree, maybe even three or four. This one you can count down here branches actually there's even one down here that i can bend over and so by bending them over i'm just guaranteeing myself that they'll survive the winter they're protected and then i have my choice basically of what i want to keep in the spring um, on this variety here i only have one and unfortunately it just it kind of worked out that way it is what it is but let's prune now the saint martin and so we're just going for cuts that are about a foot in length and so I'm just kind of eyeing it up um, you don't have to get really crazy with this but I used to in the past when I've done this I had a ruler 
And so I would use the ruler and make my cuts. But you can see, I just kind of know at this point what is a foot just by eyeing it up.